Amen. Maayong buntag sa inyo hang tanan, mga kaigsuonan. Merry Christmas everyone. So pila na lang ka adlaw mga I think 26-27 days na lang para Christmas. I do believe mga Ikson excited ta sa Christmas. Ang uban nakadawat nag bonus. Ang uban bono pa. Praise God. Okay. So sa atong Christ, sa atong church mga Ikson, we'll be having our online uh, Christmas party again just like what we have uh, last July katubid ang anniversary nato. So, we'll be celebrating like that. Okay? So, natay contribution, 150 pesos. So, ikuan lang sa inyo mga, sa inyo mga leaders para na mo entry makaigson. No? As many as you can give, like 150. So, ang isa sa inyong panimalay, tingali sa inyong balay, na mo uh, upat kabuok. So, mukhaan mo 600. So, po, pwede ra po isa kangalan o pwede po isa-isa ninyo. Ihatag lang sa inyong leader. para sa atong giveaways mga igsoon nag mag maghatag tag mga prizes ana kay maogya po natong pagdagan sa atong atong anniversary dili nato uh, labian di nato i take for granted dili nato ipalabay na mahuman ang pasko wala taka celebrate wala taka party sa atong church mga igsoon so in ani ni siya daghay mga parties i don't know unsay unsay buhaton sa mga party sa inyong inyong trabaho o sa inyong negosyo, sa inyong gitawag na ito, grupo. Uh, usually, tingali, uh, tingali, virtual tingali ang buhaton, or tingali na physical, pero limitado lang. Uh, muna, excited ta, kay mo ko na look forward na ito, nga mag-party ta sa asa tanga trabaho. Pero sa church, inaanap po na, dili mo wala itong Christmas party. Okay? So, as a body of Christ, mo na ginatudlo na ako sa inyo, ha? nga ang spiritual family is maokining family nga atong gina-invest sa pagpangalagad na to Ginoo. This is a family na where we can we can grow mature in the Lord. So sa atong Christmas party, we will support mag-join gyud ta mga igsoonan. Join gyud because this is our family, this is our spiritual family. So ang contribution is 150 pesos lang and then if you have a desire to pledge sa uh, like Because natay plano nga maghatag na po tag cellphone, maghatag na po tag mga tingali gadgets or appliances, igsoon or mga groceries or anything uh, nga atong mahatag. If you want to, you know, to pledge, then you are you are welcome to do it. And then, or tingali mag, mag-pledge ka og food. Okay? So, i-welcome na to, katubitang anak nga time. mag i na mga 50 lang ka-persons nga makaanis sa church mga igsoon uh, with, with the proper precautions and protocols nga pwede dirita mag-celebrate gyapon. Kung dili mo makaanhi, dito gyapon sa balay, maghanda lang gyapon mo sa inyong pagkaon. Okay? So, the same lang gyapon sa atong anniversary. But karon ag I desire, nag-desire ko nga daghan tayo mahatag mga igsoon. Because karon Ah, uh, siyempre, kada December, daghan yun ay labi na trabaho ka, daghan kay mga panalangin sa ginoo. No? Uh, it's it's time to really share, no? aside sa imong tithes and offering, aside sa unsay imong ginakuan, it's time to share. Because the Bible says, nga it's better to give than to receive. So again, kada party, Christmas party, wala tayo exchanging gift. Ang atong ginabuhat mga ikson sa church, if you can give as many as you can. Ang atong desire, ang desire na to nga kins dili dili kanang hunaon nga kinsa kahay muhatag sa ako sa karong Pasko. Kun dili kinsa ka akong tagaan during sa Pasko. Amen. So mao na may igson because ang Bible nagaingon it is more blessed to give than to receive. So is in an opportunity may igson to really bless someone as many as you can bless. Kay I do believe may igson nga daghan tay ma, ma, madawat pud na Kay mo ka na ang principyo sa Bible. Okay? So, January, next next month, December na, January 2021. And wata ka balo on sa muabot sa 2021? Ingon pa sila. I don't know, this is not a, to put fear in your heart. But mo lang ni akong na dunggan sa diyang mga nagtigom-tigom is mga pastors and I researchers naka, naka-discover. I don't know kung tinood ni siya or dili. Basta mo lang ni akong na dunggan. nga after sa COVID-19 na napuday COVID-20 
So, so mukuan daw siya by, by January or February. I don't know. Ako ba lumayag so. Basta sa toa, nga nakailata sa Diyos, we will be joyful and excited. Know that we are always covered. We are always protected. In the Lord, the Bible says, if God is for us, who can be against us? So, dili ta ma-surprise kung nanapoy COVID-20, COVID-21, unsaba ng mga famine, pestilence, and circumstances. Dili ta ma-surprise because it was already prophesied, it was already written in the Bible that in the last days, there will be wars, earthquakes, famines, pestilence, and even mga ikson, nga brothers against brothers, brothers against ma- uh, mothers, mga ikson sons against against parents, na anak sa mga butanga. But atong prayer, mga ikson, maulan ni, nga ang gugma na to, dili, mawala. Kaya ingon si Jesus, in the last days, the love of many will grow cold. Dili dapat atong gugma, sige no, maluya. No, dili ta magpa, magpa, magpadala sa unsay nakita unsay gibati nato kay in times like this wala gyud no ah uh, dili gyud ta makaigsun mabuhi kung wala ang Ginoo sa tong kinabuhi i tell you yes you can you can you can you can do it alone but without god eventually along the way you will be frustrated along the way you will be emptied you will be you know you will be broken kung wala ang Ginoo sa tong kinabuhi mo nang karon makaigsun it's really high time to really pursue god Taliwala nga, you failed many times, but we will pursue God. Amen? So, muna ang, ang, ang gingon sa ginoo, in the world you have tribulation, but be of good cheer, be of good courage, I have overcome the world. That is why kita may ikson, malipayon ta, excited ta kanunay, kay bisan pag unsay ilabay sa kalibutan sa toa, uh, we should know that God is with us. If God is with us, who can be against us? Bahala kung sa ikuan sa kaaway Kung na ang gino, daog yung taperminti Kung wala ang gino, pildig yung taperminti So asaman ta, ana Muna ingon ang pulong sa gino The battle is not ours, but the battle belongs to the Lord Amen? So nagwali na ko Announcement pa to mga Igson. Amen? So this is the last Sunday of November Next week mga Igson, December na Hallelujah Kinsa excited sa tong December mga Igson Bulang sa December Palakpaki ang gino mga Igsonan Hallelujah kay ni abot na ta sa last month mo abot na ta sa last month of 2020 praise the lord so we welcome everyone those who watch us abroad we welcome you and sa atong church online so good morning good evening good afternoon or good day sa tanan nagtan-aw sa tua uh, abroad and even those people who was who watch us a eh, first timers uh, we welcome you sa identity church there is a church we are not promoting religion but we are promoting personal relationship with God. Og walay laing gipasikat diri sa church kon dili si Jesus lamang. Wala gipasikat namo ang 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 music, ang ngalan sa church, ang pastor or any any person here ang among ginapasikat si Jesus. Og ikatulo ang among ginapromote ang Bible yod. We are Bible based church. Tanan namo pagtulunan na agyud gikan sa Biblia. Okay? So we are you are welcome kung unsa man imong religion, you are welcome. Okay? You are welcome in this church. Okay, glory to God. Again, daghay ng utana, Pastor, kanos aman ta mubalik sa gathering, physical gathering. Kay daghan diri sa iliga na nga nag, nagsugod na sila, nag-open na silang church, nag-physical gathering. So ang akong perminti, ginatubag mga Igson, we will start a new beginning, January Igson. We will start a physical gathering on January, the first Sunday of the month. Mawaka na atong gitawag na anointing Sunday. I think it's uh, if, uh, anointing Sunday. Mo ka na ang atong pag, pag physical gathering. And then uh nawagan ko sa tanang mga ministry sa church I, sa I media I serve sa unsa pa sa worship team that we will be having our uh, meeting, uh, urgent meeting. Tingali a dili si urgent meeting, but natay planning and 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 meeting for for the next month or next year mga igsoon. Tingali, karon Sabado, tagaan lang tamog notice ng mga heads ninyo, ako lang ihatag, and akong giyangyo, dapat naamo. Kung naamo, Mike Son, in other words, komitado ka nga to connect, uh, still connect, uh, you are always, uh, you are, you have a desire to connect, no, sa ministry. Okay, I serve, I, I serve, I media, and I, I, saba, I serve, I media, I worship. Okay, so praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Again, uh, nahuman na ang atong Belt Strong series last Sunday. Nagisgot ko about 
how to manage our finances. Importante kay mga kaigsonan, kay da ang nag, nakaremember ko nga last na kong giingon katong sa panahon ni Adam ug ni Eve. No, this is just a recap kay kini magahisgot ko in connection pod ani may son. Si Adam and Eve was commanded by God to 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 eat everything. But dili lang kan untong isa kapunuan. No, it was they were commanded by God. You can eat everything, but this tree of the knowledge of the good and evil, dili good po di kan on. Kay kay balo sila ang consequence. You know, ang consequence pwede siya uh, pwede siya gradual, pwede siya instant, no? Tagaan ta mog sample. Ang consequence igsoon mo abot gyud na siya if we if we violate the laws of God. Na ating ali instant, na apud ali gradual. Ang instant in ani Kung giingnan ka sa imong ginikanan nga ayaw 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 sini ayaw hikapa ang kining kanang kalaha nga naa sa gasol nga gabaga makaigsoon nya imong gihikap eventually mapaso yud ka that's an instant consequence pero kanang gradual hinay hinay for example kay balo ka nga nakay utang dili ka mo bayad anto di mo bayad labi nagdako na millions ka pwede ra na ma-enjoy nimo nga walay walay na hilabot sa imo but wa ka balo katong nagutangan nimo nagkuan na dayon slag file nag case mga Exxon and to cut the long story short aton lang do kuanon base nay manuktok sa inyong balay nga nanay warrant of arrest mao na siya gitag gitawag og gradual consequence sa bible na anay mga inana si lord ningon siya kang adam og ni eve ayaw hikapa o ayaw kan a kining punuan kay kumukaon ka you will surely die and then did that to connect in in tithes not to an offering just like that you can eat your 90% you can eat those pila kabo compare sa 10% which is your tithes if you eat your tithes then you will surely die unsa man mamatay ko pastor kung dili ko mag tithes now i tell you my so dili ka mamatay but there is a consequence you will be withdrawn yourself no your life will be you know malayo kay naina your spirituality may naina layo sa Ginoo kay ngano mo ni siya the god of this world is ang makamatch good ni lord dili si satan satan wala kay nay match ni lord ang ang makamatch ni lord makaigson ang ginakumpara sa bible is the money and god that's why ingon si jesus you cannot serve god with mammon no two masters it's either money or it's either God. So in other words, if you serve God, then in other words, your the ang money makes on my money mong servant. But if you serve your money, then God is not your master. So in ani ni siya, ang giingon ni Lord, kung mukaon mo ani, you will surely die. So diri na to masabtan kung sa anong tights makes on it talks about finances. If we cannot give our tithes a 10% or sa atong offering makes on, then therefore, God is not the master over your life. Okay? So remember, money, we cannot serve God with money to masters. Ingon ang pulong sa gino. So si God mismo, nagahistorya gin sa tua, nga sama mismo ni ni Kwan, the rich man. Gusto siya mga lagad ni Lord, he wanted to have eternal life. But gingnan sa Ginoo pauli hatag ibaligya inyong mga kabtangan ihatag sa kabus. Nakita sa Ginoo nga iyang kasing-kasing wala sa Dios. Nakita sa Ginoo nga iyang heart na sa kwarta. Compare ni Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus sa dihang he was visited by Jesus. Ningon sa Lord katong nautangan, kato akong giilad Ginoo, akong ihatag ta nang dublihon panako. So in other words, his his life, his heart was being transformed. Ang yang love of money na wala, kaya niyang i-give up makaigson, bayaran to mga tao nga yang giilad. So, which is which? Asa man ta ana. Dapat dapat inana makaigson. Ang Lord nato, ang God nato, si God yud. And money should be our servant. Dili ta dapat muhikaw. Don't eat your tithes. If you eat your tithes and offering, we will surely die. In other words, we will you will be, you know, mahina atong may mawala atong relasyon sa Gino. We will be disconnected to God. I want you to know that when Adam and Eve eat the that tree, nawala sila ilang relasyon sa Gino. Hinay hinay. Tingali you are serving God for how many times? How many years? I mean, no, ngalagad ka sa Gino. But the sad thing is, while dili ka ka give or ka bring sa mong tithes and offering, you worship God. 
But I tell you, my son, financially, wala ni mo na-connect ang imong kinabuhi kay Lord because wala ta naghatag og tithes and offering. We are disconnected. So, both pasabot mga igson, God that you are worshiping is not the God of your life because sa kwarta palang daan, di kakasurrender ang para sa gino. Okay? So, mo nang recap mga igson, kay kini siya, introduction ako ni sa kong wali. If you have your Bible, please turn with me in the book of Psalms 127 verses 1 to 21. Okay? So this is very, very common if you are familiar of these uh, verses, mga igson, komo na kay stanani, ingondri sa NLT version. Unless the Lord builds a house, the work of the builders is wasted. Unless the Lord protects a city, guarding it with sentries will do no good. It is useless for you to work so hard from early morning until late night. Anxiously working for food to eat, for God gives rest to his loved ones. You know, the main idea of Solomon, si Solomon may gasulat ani, good. The main idea of Solomon is that without God, it's worth, it's not worth it. Without God, it's not worth it. But, we, but when you give God the rightful place over our life, then you can rest in His blessings. Today, I will be sharing to you ang topic na to, resting in God's blessings. No resting. In other words, kana na blessings sa gino, makapahulay kag sakto. Dili bitaw ka ng blessed, na, na blessed, na blessed kay ka, pero prostrated ka. Blessed na blessed kay ka, pero grabe ang sorrow. Remember the blessing of the Lord, He adds no sorrow. Gusto sa gino once nga panalanginan kas gino o may son, you will be resting, you know, sa presence ni Lord, nga grabe ang favor ni Lord, ayahay kay ma-enjoy lang ni mo may son sa blessing ni Lord. Kay daghan mismo financially, they are blessed. But the blessing of the Lord, dili lang sa finances, kung dili mga son, holistic siya. Pwede ka blessed financially, pero you are frustrated, broken, hurting. It's not that the blessing of God. That's why our topic for today, resting in God's blessings. So in this in this uh, two verses, na ako na discover mga igsoon, nga maoning highlight na to, that without God it's not worth it. Without God it's not worth it. Ingon nang pulong sa Ginoo unless the Lord builds the house. Gawas ang Dios na magtukod sa balay. Ang magtukod ni ini mahimong kawang. Gawas ang Dios nga magbantay sa siyudad ang nagbantay ni ini mahimong kawang mga igsoon so when you leave the lord out of your life all that you do is in vain i tell you yes karon pa lang ni enjoy kay ka sa imong gitrabaho but we you leave the lord out of it then eventually you will be frustrated eventually you will be empty empty imong life eventually you will be broken I tell you, di gyud ta makaigson, nga di gyud ta kadaog sa Ginoo. Di kay balo ko nga dili gyud na nimo kaya kung wala ang Dios. Karon mo ingon laka kaya man ako, pastor. Okay man ko, I'm good pastor without God, without without devotional, without having devotional life, without cell life, without church life. Kaya pa na ako, pastor without it. But I tell you, kaya, kaya na karon lang sa pagkaron. But along the way, mga igson, magpangita ka. Empty atong kasing kasing broken ya punta. Kay dili baka ko ng Dios. Ingon si Solomon, the wisest man on earth, unless the Lord builds the house, the one who labor in it will be in vain. So I tell you, my sure the word vain here, gina describe ni Solomon mga igson. It means something that has no value or worth it. It is an empty achievement. Tingali, you are building your house. Imong gipa, gilibre ni mo imong mama, imong papa, nagpa-beautify ka sa imong balay, nagpa, saba, uh, nindot kayo imong kahimtang sa business. But without God, listen, if we live out, you know, if we live God out of your life, out of your, of your family, then everything will be in vain. No? Monang, the word vain, Giingon di ni Solomon that it means something that has no value or worth. 
It is an empty achievement. Bisan pagkapoy kayo, hago kay kasi mong gibuhat. Kay unsa may gigon sa Bible again? Ingon ang Bible, unless the Lord builds a house, no? Kung gawas ang Ginoo nga nagatukod sa balay, ang nagtukod niini, ang naghago niini sa balay, mahimong in vain. Subot pa subot, sayang da itong kahago, no? Kung nag nag naghago ka sa imong business, naghago ka sa imong trabaho, naghago ka sa imong sa imong eskwelahan, without God, it is empty, it is an empty achievement. It's not, it has no value. Solomon introduces this idea nga naay duha ka book yang gimin, the building of the house and the guarding of the city. Later ako nang i-explain mga igsuon. Okay? So Mao ni siya mga Ikson, gusto na ako i i emphasize na ako sa inyo ha. Kining without God, your work is in vain. So repeat after me. Without God, my work is in vain. Come on, say it again. Without God, my work is in vain. So there are two kinds of work nga ako ng emphasize ng giingon ni Solomon, and I will explain it to you, guys. Okay, number one work is building. Okay, the building of the house. Maybe kining a verses mga igsoon that this verse is specifically about building a house, but it really applies to you know it really applies to anything that we build in our house, like like building building a business, building a church, building a home, or building your career. So on anything that you are building, okay, that's the number one work that he emphasized in Solomon. Anything that you are building without God, then everything is in vain. Everything has no value. Everything is an empty achievement. Okay, so whatever you are building right now, maybe you are planning to get married. Maybe you are planning to build a business. Maybe you are planning. To you know, to to buy something, a land, but without God's involvement, then it has an empty or achievement, or it has no value, and so on. Are you guys with me? So whatever you are building right now, so gakamuna pa ka guna huna, involve God, involve God. Kinahanglan mismo nga i-commit ni mo kay Lord. Tanan ni mo mga plano, Mike. So, nun sa igingon sa Bible, in the book of Proverbs 16.3, Commit your works to the Lord, and your thoughts will be established. It's very clear, nga niingon si Solomon Dira, kung nakay mga plano, kung nakay mga ideas, mga panglantaw sa future, you commit it to the Lord. You acknowledge God because mo nang mga ikson everything you put it into the hands of God will succeed. Any every anything that you put, anything you put it in the hands of God will prosper. That is why ingon si Solomon, commit it to the Lord. Everything you do, commit it to the Lord, and your thoughts or your plans will be established. Mo nang pulong sa ginoo mga ikson so. Mo nang makaingon tingali tanga, pastor. Okay, ramang ko. I'm I'm good. My business is doing well. My family is doing well. My 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 career is doing well. Okay, po ydi na sa. At first, okay pa kay na. Years, okay pa kay. After years, okay pa kay. But I tell you, dili gihapon, dili bakakon ng Dios. Without God, our achievement will be empty. Your 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 you know your your kahago ig so on. Kanang imong pagbudlay, kana sa it has no value. Are you guys with me? Along the way, we will be prostrated. Kaya daghan ko na ilang ng kwartahan, ilang business ni boom pero ang ilang kinabuhi may ikson broken. Ilang family nindot kayo pero empty sila. Ang ilang career nindot kayo pero ilang kinabuhi may ikson dilis la fulfilled, dilis la satisfied. Why? Listen again. Kung wala ang Dios magauban sa ato ah, tanan na tong kahago has no value. Okay? This is not my word. This is the word of God. Nga unless a man, no, unless the Lord build a house, the one who labor in it will be in vain. 
Unsay gingon sa Bible mga igsuon. If you are building for something, you commit it to the Lord. In the book of John 15:5, ingondri, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit for without me you can do nothing. Clear sa Bible. Dili na ta dapat maigsoon nga daghan pa kay tay mga reasonings, mga mga explanation. Klaro kay sa Bible without God's involvement, without God if you leave God out of your life, then your our achievement is empty. Everything we do has no value, has no worth. Yes, tingali, you are planning, Pastor, okay naman ko. I'm good here. My business, my family, my, my work is good. But listen, temporary na na siya. But I tell you, ang ginoo makahigson, he will, he, will he will make his ways nga para ikaw ga kung mabalik sa iya ha. That's why the pandemic came to, to get our attention. Kay dili gusto, kay balo ang ginoo nga di yun kakadaog sa, sa kinabuhi kung wala siya. Amen. I remember na remember na ako maingson katong sa sa katubitang uh, the presence of God, the Shekinah glory of God or katubitang tabernacle na ang uh, gina, ginadaladala nila ang katong ark of the uh, ark ark of the Lord nga kung asa ang ark ark ni Lord which is represent the presence of God. Grabe ang prosperity sa land. Ug sa dihang gikawat makaigsuonan Agikawat ang land mismo may ingson silang David na pildi and ingon 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 ang pulong sa Ginoo sa dihang ang ang ark of the covenant mga igson gidalas kang sa balay kang Obed Edom no gipuyo for six months ang balay ni Obed Edom ni prosper in other words kung na ang presensya kung na ang Dios sa tong kinabuhi everything we do has values has worth igson everything we do naagi gitawag na tug achievements Klaro kay sa Bible. Manang si David, gipangita niya ang Ark of the Covenant. G- 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 gipangita niya kay Gikawat. Kitingala sila, nangapildi naman sila. Kay kadagubat nila, daog sila perminti, o sa diyang nawala ang presence ni Lord, nang- nangapildi sila. And listen carefully, klaro kay sa Bible, without me, you can do nothing. Ang kwarta, importante. Trabaho, importante. Kay kung sa trabaho, natay trabaho, makakwarta ta. Kung natay negosyo mag nagmanaghan na tong kan nindot kay sa nanak maigson but please lang ayaw wala as si Lord ayaw ipahawa si Lord sa itong kinabuhi kay mga no maigson our enemy is not flesh and blood is the devil he's roaring like a lion and our career our money cannot protect from the evil ones dili kapildi Mon nang gitaga ang tag ability in Jesus name pahawa di munyo dili dili pwede nga di munyo pahawa na koy million no dili ma dili mahadlok ang di munyo pila ka millions nga nasa imo pila ka unsa imo ka bright di mahadlok ang di munyo unsa pila ka property nga you have the devil will not afraid of you but he is afraid if you have intimate relationship with Jesus are you guys with me amen i remember sa usa ka ilaga Isa ka ilaga, naiskwila siya, pilar ko istorya ko. Naiskwila siya, pag-iskwila niya, ginabuli siya. Kay satanan niyang classmate, kay balawag ilaga, siya ang pinakagamay dalunggan. Ang kasagaran nilang mga classmate, dagko kay dalunggan. Kay balawag ilaga, dagko kay dalunggan. La, gamay kay dalunggan, gamay dalunggan. So, nihilak siya, ginabuli siya. So, niadto siya sa sagingan, hilak-hilak siya. Niya, siyempre, napaman siya klase after lunch, napaman siya klase after noon. So after lunch mga igsoon, nilakaw siya, wala na siya niya to siya yung classmates. So gahilak siya. And sa diyang sige siya gahilak, na po'y nadunggan niya nga gabag, ga, 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 tahol ba? Ay ka nang ga, gahilak po. Paglingi niya, dako kayo, elephant man di ay. Si iyang ginuhadlok siya aksyon, pero ningon siya nga, why are you crying? Ingon siya, my mother left me. So ingon ng kwan, ingon na itong, ingon na ito kay baby elephant man. So, ingon ng elephant, could you be my friend? Could could you lead me to my mother? Ingon na yun, ang, ang ilaga. Yes! Ningon sa lipay kay ko nga, amigo ta. Pwede ta mahapit sa among school before na to pangitaon ang inyo, imong mama. So, nihapit sila sa school, makaikson, gikuyog ng elephant. 
pagkuyog ng elephant, labay sila sa bridge, tingalan niya katatap, pagkada kada step niya may ikson, muuyog ang bridge. Uyog. Nauna niya nga, ayos sa kay, muuyog man. Di dahi ito siya nakauyog, ang elephant di ay kidako kay tanan. So pag adto niya sa eskulahan, tanan nga nagbuli sa iya, nanagan. Nanagan. Nahadlok sa elephant. Nahadlok sa elephant, may ikson. La, na siya amigo, nanawag na siya. Na siya kauban, nanagan, wana na pakita, mga ikson. So gad adto, pilarago istorya, so gad adto, wana nagbuli ang mga, 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 nagbu, mga gabuli sa elephant. So inana na siya, may ikson. If God is for us, if God is with us, no weapon forms against us, please involve God. Unless a man, uh, unless the Lord builds a house, the one, the builders, you know, everything you do, ang builders may son, we are the builders of our home. Ikaw, gabild ka sa imong life, gabild ka sa imong business, gabild ka sa imong, sa imong, sa imong trabaho, gabild ka sa imong kinabuhi. Then without God, then everything is useless. I tell you, empty achievements is so on. Ingon ang Bible in the Hebrew chapter three verse four. Ingon sa for every house is built by someone, but he who built all things is God. He who built all things is God. Tanan kinsay nagtukod sa tanan kundili ang Dios because before anything is God was. Before the world began, God is there already. Na na ang Dios na ingon ang pulong sa ginoo in the beginning, in the beginning God created. So before anything, before the physical, the 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 spiritual things make so na na ang Dios. So He is the builder. So in other words, kung siya ang builder, dapat ato siyang tumanon, ato siyang iaknalage, kaya He knows everything. Are you guys with me? Amen. So. Ingon ang pulong sa Gino sa Psalms 92 verses 13 to 14. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be fresh and flourishing. So klaro kay sa Bible, if we build ourselves in the house of God, then we will flourish. But if you disconnect yourself in the house of God, I tell you, everything you do will be dried up. No? Madrysia. Everything we do has no values. Are you guys with me? So, my question, what are you building? Okay? Tingali, you are building, nag, 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 bago lang ka nakatrabaho, or tingali, bago lang ka nakabusiness, or tingali, Bago lang ka na promote sa imong work, my son. What are you building? I encourage you, involve God. Involve God. Don't live a life without God. Empty tanan. Na sa diyan nag-sharing mi my son. Ingon lagi tong isa ka researcher. Nga by February or March na pod mo abot ang COVID-20, mas lala pa makaigsonan sa gingon pa nakadungog ko sa usa ka pastor kung mabayrosan. I don't know kung tinuod niya kung ma, ma, matakdan daw ka sama katong ka Moses panahon na mamburot imong lawas kanang boils ba boils kanang murag murasyag sana siya uh, basta murag bisag mag ang magburot-burot ang imong lawas no sa on, sa una uh, kuyaw kay to sa una kay mamburot ilang diri so o kabaluha ay, wala ko gaingon nga maunay mahitabo di po ko makaingon nga dili na mahitabo uh, which is which importante na as si lord amen Amen. Mao gina importante makaigsoonan atong pagabuhaton. Okay, so in the book of James chapter 4 verses 13 to 16. Ingon diri, "Come now, you who say, today or tomorrow we will go to such and such a city, spend a year there, buy and sell and make it prof- make a profit, whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow. For what is your life?" It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. Instead, you ought to say, if the Lord's wills, we shall live and do this or that. But now you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. So na ay mga advices nga giingon ni James diri. Dapat, muingon ta Lord kung imong kaubot on then we will live by under your will. 
And then ang mga tao, dili na because of this so much opportunities in the world. So much kining kining recognition in the world. And mo nang nanaday aroganti na dayon. Dili na mutuman, dili na dili na musubmit sa balaod, aroganti na unsay gingon sa Bible. You boast in your arrogance, all such boasting is evil. Kay tingali, you know something, okay na ko. Okay na ko, I'm good. I don't need to join cell group. I don't need to join Sunday services. I don't need to join uh, a training. I don't need to join prayer meeting. I am good. My life is good. My business is good. My, my family is good. So, arrogant na ta, makaigsonan. And all such arrogant or, or boasting is evil. This is just a reminder sa matag-usa kanatong tanan. Are you guys with me? So, si, si Solomon, aning a verse, mga igson, unless the Lord builds a house. This is a warning against an attitude of self-sufficiency so, sufficiency in this verse. Because God wants us to find blessing and fulfillment in our work. Gusto sa gino, nga bless niya ang imong trabaho, imong negosyo, because He loves to see us blessed. But in it, it is dili siya mahitabo makaigsonan apart from him. You know, apart from him, this blessing that we desire, it will not come to pass. Because if kung ikaw lay gahago makaigsoon, ikaw lay gahago kung wala ang ginoo kini nga blessing makaigsoon dili mahitabo makaigsoon. Because without God, our work will be empty, frustrating, useless, and in vain. So listen, I want you to listen carefully. Life begins. Listen na. The life that we pursue, no? the life that we desire, the life that we, 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 we dreamed of, life begins when God is in control. Okay? Life begins when, la- when God is in control. I tell you, the opposite otherwise Kung dili ang ginoo nag-control sa atong kinabuhi, then that life that you have is not life at all. Because in the world, the, 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 uh, the defined life, like if you have money, that's life. If you have a nice car, that's life. If you have nice property, that's life. If you have these gold girls on sabag guns, you, that, that's life. But that's not life. Nagingon ni Lord in John 10.10. Ingon siya, Satan came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I come, I have come to give you life, even life abundance. So, kanang life abundance that you are blessed financially, you are blessed emotionally, you are blessed physically, you are blessed socially. Tanan mismo may son, that's life abundance. How many of you want that kind, that kind of life? I want that kind of life. Nga gusto ko dato ko na ako'y kwarta daghan gusto ko nga na ako'y property gusto ko nga healthy ko gusto ko nga wala ko'y kasuko gusto ko nga nindot ako relasyon sa matag usa gusto ko ana mo na life abundance posible kwartahan kay ka pero bati mo bati ang relasyon nimo sa imong mama papa sa mga tao that's not life abundance no it's it's empty life it's empty life because sa atong heart mga exon na create ni Lord yang nga gitawag na tog vacuum. Ang vacuum ana can be satisfied only by God. It cannot be satisfied by money, it cannot be satisfied by career, by profession, by position. Anything in this world, treasures of this world cannot be satisfied by this kining vacuum. This vacuum was created by God that only God can fill, can satisfy that kind of heart. When life Life begins when God is in control. Are you guys with me? So, Mona Mason, whenever you attempt in life, commit it to God from very beginning. Kung gusto ka mag-build of something, commit it to God. Because if God is not in it, then God's blessing will not be on it. Okay? So, I'll repeat. If God is not in it, 
then God's blessing will not be on it. Okay, so God may, 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 may choose to prostrate our dreams. Bulabugon ang atong mga damgo. Kay gusto sa ginoo nga iyang damgo matuman sa tua. But we still to choose our dreams, to pursue our dreams. Monang prostrated ta. So again, two kinds of work, building. What are you building? Okay, what are you building, my son? Unsa man imong ginabuild karon. Number two, works. Itawag na ko guarding. Key guarding. Kining guarding man soonan is that okay, that, that there is something uh, nga ginakwa ni mo kining ningon ang pulong sa Ginoo nga unless the Lord watches over the city or unless the Lord guard the city. Okay, baliko na to at atong i-flash Ang Psalms 121, please. Ingon na to, unless the Lord builds a house, the work of the builders is wasted. And then, they, and, 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 they, unless the Lord guard or protect the city, okay, unless the Lord protect the city, guarding it with sentries will do no good. Okay, so number two is guarding. So, ang guarding is something that you are building, nag-build na ka, Dapat mismo kinahanglan ka gwardya. Example, nakabuild na kagkuan. You involve God. You committed to God. Na nakay business. So, nakabuild na kag business. Dapat mismo kinahanglan biya na mo ng mga tao mag-hire yun og security guard to guard. Mag-hire og mga onsay may mo gwardya, mo bantay sa ilang kuan, sa ilang mga business, ilang family. So, ingon ang pulong sa ginoo makaisunan. The time that we are building for something involve God. And then sa diyang sa diyang nag, nag nanata ang ginabuild na to natukod na we need to involve God still nga siya ang mugga guardya siya ang mo protect makaigsoon are you guys with me so in ani i want you to understand this this kining watch kining watchman kining gabantay o guarding it with in sentries will do, do no good kining mga watchmen sa una morning tig bantay sa mga walls and then, hingon ang pulong sa gino, kung dili ang Diyos magabantay sa sudad, ang tanan mga security guard, mahimong in vain. Ilang pag-watch, ang mga watchmen, mahimong in vain. So everything, that has, that this has to do with guarding or maintaining that which you've already built. How to maintain the things that you're already built? We need God. Sometimes, por miro okay kay Lord, i-commit na ako kanimo. Sa demo, prosper na ka, Gibiana, murag ikaw na lang gibiyaan nimo si Lord. Okay, are, are you guys with me? I I I hope nga nakuha nimo unsay boat nako na pasabot. In other words, you are building your family, you are building for something and then sa dihang na okay nang tanan, you are you are committed to 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 God. And then na okay na tanan, prosperous na tanan nya gi murag nakalimot na kas Ginoo. Remember it, remember my son. Walay lain makagwardya, makaprotect sa imong business, sa imong family, sa imong career except God. I tell you, except God. Taganta mo story sa, sa, sa Great Wall. Okay? <clears throat> sa Great Wall of China was built to defend China from outside invaders. You know, the, 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 the wall is over 4,000 miles long. Taas kayo, and over 20 feet high. No, Ang width niya, mga 12 to 40 feet. Ang width niya. And then, dili basta-basta kini siya ma-invade sa kaaway. Pero, kabalo mo, ang, ang kontra sa Chinese, may ikson ka nang gitawag na itong mga Mongols. Mga Mongols, may ikson, para sila maka-invade sa kwan. Kaya dili basta-basta ma-invade ang, ang wall of China, maguba, maka ikson, di basta-basta. Kaya bisan sa nila, dili sila ka-invade. So, ilang gibuhat, ang ilang gibuhat, ang mga gwardya may ikson, ilang gibribe. Ginabribe nila. Gina, 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 isturehan nila mga, mga masinaw, manindot nga, dunggan. So, sa diyang na-bribe ang mga gwardya, naka-invade na ang mga kaaway. So, in other words, dili masaligan igsoon, ang tanan mismo nga imong gisaligan, dili masaligan. 
Pero kung gisaligan nimo ang Dios, masaligan ang Ginoo. That is why guarding it, guarding it with God. Allow God to protect, allow God to guard your business, allow God to guard your family because sa bisag unsaon nimong plano nga protektahan nato itong mga anak sa mga sa mga sickness, sa mga diseases, mao gini atong pakanon nga vitamins, mao gini atong pakaon sa ilaha. Nindot kay sanana, but without God involvement our money cannot protect the virus. Our money cannot protect our, our the, the evil one. But if if, if God is, is our protector, makaigsonan, even disease, even virus, even punjay, dili makahilabot sa atong kinabuhi. Are you guys with me? Atong pakpakan ang ginoo makaigsonan. Come on, pakpaki si Lord. So labor without God cannot prosper. Ingon pa si Thomas Man Manton. Okay. Thomas Manton. Ingon siya, Labor without God cannot prosper. And labor against God will surely fail. You need to keep God in everything you do. Amen. Labor with God cannot prosper. And labor against God will surely fail. You need to keep God in everything we do. Are you guys with me? Amen? So, mauna mga iksonan in the book of Psalms, chapter 90, verse 17. May the favor of the Lord our God rest upon us. Ingon pa sa Psalms. And establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, Lord, establish the work of our hands. He acknowledges God. Lord, establish among buhat sa mong kamot, gino. Lord, guide us, protect us, what to do. Remember, mga ikson, I, I challenge those who, are, who, are, who have families. Kung ikaw, mama, papa, ikaw na kay, ikaduha, businessmen and women, if you have a business, ikatulo, if you are a student, ikaupat, makaigsonan, if you have a wonderful career. I tell you, your labor will be for nothing without God. So God should be our final protector. Amen. On say gingon ni David sa Psalms, sa Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not your own understanding. Memorize na nato ni. In all, say with me, all. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He shall direct your path. He shall direct your path. Trust. Lean not. Trust in the Lord and lean not your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. He will direct your path straight. In verse 6 and 7, on say ging on the do not be wise in your own eyes. Ayaw pagsalib sa gunaon na nimo, sakto na ka. I don't need my leader anymore. I don't need the church anymore. I can do it alone. No, ningon ang pulong sa gino. Do not be wise in your own eyes. I don't need my, you know, okay rako walay sale group, okay rako ay training, okay rako walay, I, I, I don't need their advices. Listen carefully, you are in danger if you do that. You are in danger if you do that. On saying ni David, do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your soul or flesh and strength to your bones. It's clear kay sa Bible. So listen, without God, our work is in vain, but with God, everything will flourish. Amen. So, claro sa Bible. Psalms 23, verses 1 and 2. The Lord is my shepherd. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. This is our God. Now, if we allow God, acknowledge God, Lord, you are my shepherd. My business is not my shepherd. No, Lord, my business is not my, my source of, of provision. Lord, my, my family is not the source of my provision, my career, but you are my shepherd, Lord. On saying on sa Bible, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. O sa line nga translation, I lack nothing. The Lord is my shepherd. Amen? Are you guys with me? Muna gitawag sa Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh means God is provider. Jehovah is my provider. Dili nga business provider. Or, or career provider, or family provider, but God is our provider. Amen? 
So in Job 36 verse 11, hapit na ko, two, two, day, two, two verses. Okay? If they obey and serve Him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. So duha ka book, obey and serve. Obey and serve. OS ni morning OS. Importante, obey and serve. If we obey and serve God, we are guarding, protecting our city, our family, our business, our career. Because ningun ang Bible, unless the Lord guards the city, the guard, the, 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 the ang mga watchmen, may mong in vain. Ang ilang pagbantay, ilang pagbilar sa syudad, may mong kawang. Mga kaigsoonan. So if we obey and serve Him, then this, we, shall, they, we shall spend our days in prosperity and in pleasure. Psalms 121 verses 1 and 2. Si David, he is a king, powerful king. He had everything. I lift up my eyes to the hills, to the mountain. What does my help come from? tabang, My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Grabe si David. Acknowledge niya. King siya, hari siya. He had everything na nasa iya tanan. Pero ningon siya, where does my help comes from? I will lift up my eyes to the hills. Ang hills sa una mo ni taguanan, protector sa mga sa mga maggubat gani, mugtagan sila sa bukid para sila mismo madili sila makitaan sa kaaway. Ingon sa akong tabang wala gagikan aning tubi, an, aning bukid. Akong tabang gikan sa Ginoo nga nagbuhat sa langit ug sa yuta. Kinsa may tabang nimo? Ultimate source of help is not yes, is not is not a, a, a your company, is not your job, is not your business, is not your family. But the ultimate source of help is God. Amen? So don't live without God. Don't live without God, church. And the last one, kini. Tingali, some of you, you are enjoying the blessing of God right now. You've been praying for a job, then gitagaan kag job sa gino. Na enjoy ni mo. Tagaan, ginagpray mo o business, gitihatag sa gino. Because faithful si Lord, gi enjoy ni mong business. Nagpray ka o promotion, na promote ka, gi enjoy ni mong promotion. Nagpray ka og husband, eventually nanay nanguyab ni mo or nagpray ka og wife or eventually nanay nagpakiliti ni mo. So you you enjoy those feelings. But on sa advice ni David, there is a Psalms chapter 23 verse 6 in on the surely goodness, listen ha, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Now, si David, ingon siya, na-enjoy na ako ang blessing ni Lord. Grabe, gagukod ang blessing. Every now, every now and then, grabe ang promotion. Every now and then, grabe kay ang favor. Grabe kay ang blessing ako na-enjoy. Gagukod sa ako ah. But unsa sa ni David, in spite sa mga blessing, ingon siya, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Ang uban, yes, na-enjoy ko sa panalangin. Grabe ang promotion. Unya sa ng cell group. Unya sa ng church. Unya sa ng prayer. Unya sa ng training. Di sa ako. And then, enjoy sa na ako ng blessing sa ginoon. Sayop mga igsoon. Is sayop siya. It would not last. Remember, the source of our help is God. The, the source of our blessing is God. Di ata na sayop mga igso. Na overwhelm tas panalangin. Na overwhelm tas promotion. Na overwhelm tas sa, sa mga butang nga gi-offer, ginaampo na to, gitubag sa gino. Na overwhelm ta. Pero the sad thing, you have been praying for a job. Yes, gitagaan kag job sa gino. But the sad thing is, wala na ka nag in the house of the Lord forever. Ang atong declaration, surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. Maura na atong declaration, is sa dihang ang goodness, ang mercy, nag-follow na sa tua. Then wala na nato ang last nga verse. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen? So dapat diliin na na mga higson, ma-enjoy tas blessing. Gitagaan kag job, gitagaan kag business, you, be, you are promoted by God, nga, nindot na kayo, na-enjoy na ka, then imong kan, Lord, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Dapat inana itong concern. Nagampo kag balay, gitagaan kag balay sa gino. Ayaw to guting ang balay makaigsoonan, may babag sa pagpangalagad ni mos gino. Kay listen, makaigsoon, ang balay masunog na na, wala na. Pero kita kung maimperno ta, hala, forever na. Temporary ang balay. Nagampo ka o kining unsa material things, sa job or sakyanan or or mountain bike. Tingali, uso na mountain bike ron. 
Do kana siya ayaw himua nga mahimong babag sa tong pagpangalagad sa Ginoo kay kana sa temporary ra na ang kini makaigsun ko mawala ni kini atong lawas forever and ever na maglangoy-langoy in Jesus name dili madalag panuktok Are you guys with me? So rest in God's blessings. Rest in God's blessings. Rest in God's blessings. Na-enjoy ka sa blessing ni Lord. Lord, grabe. Na-overwhelm na kayo ko sa promotion, gino. Oh, oh. Ay, natay sil group. Then night training, appeal ko. I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Dapat inana. Oh, grabe na kayo ang business of praise God. Sa 1997, gipromote sa gino. Mabot nagpila ka tausan ng ilang sales. Igsoon. Glory to God. Tanawang CEO. Faithful ka yung CEO, mga igsoon. Way, way laing. Taguo na to sa ngalan nga si Jar Buddy. O na si Jar Buddy. No? Eh, guys, kwila, na'y pamilya, na'y trabaho, na'y negosyo, na'y mga disciples. Siyempre, kinsa may dili, ang kinsa may ginoo nga, nga dili niya, ipanalanginan ng tawhana, makaigsunan. Siyempre, panalanginan, yun na, si akin nga naman. Lord, na-overwhelm na ako sa panalangin. Lord, but I will dwell in the house of the Lord. I will dwell in the house of the Lord always. I will dwell. Tanawa, may igsun, faithful kay, cell group. Doing his ministries, discipling, mga igson, I tell you, church, kanang atong gibuild sa buildery, mawala rana. Pero when we disciple something, mora na'y madpadala na to. Nagwintas mga tao, mora na'y ma-surprise, mapasalubungan na to si Lord. Listen carefully. Ako i-address sa inyo ah. Tingali you've been hearing this message, but karon inyo rin na dunggan usab. Karon mga igson, tingali murag na Uh, nawala mo sa passing yan yun akong keyboardista sa tong keyboardista okay nawala mo sa passing because you are so overwhelmed sa blessing grabe daghan kay koy clients karon daghan kay koy opportunity karon daghan kay koy travels karon daghan kay ko sanan pero daghan lagi pero bisag isa unta nga usara ka oras unta or time nimo kay Lord nawala Remember, everything you have comes from the Lord. You've been praying for a job, then nana. Can I mung trabaho? You've been praying for it. You've been asking God for it. Ay king na pastor. Wag mo ko nagampos ginog trabaho. Ay don't don't. Ayo pamakak. No, you've been praying for a job. Kita gan kag job. You've been praying for a business. Kita gan kag business. You've been praying for a good health sa family. Kita kita gan ka. Pero that's the thing. Asa naman tong I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay, this is just a reminder sa tua. Let's have a heart. I tell you, mga kaigsoon, kung magpadayon ta sa itong kinabuhi, nga din na ito involve ang gino, along the way, frustration, empty, broken, depression, padulong sa tua. Di man ka ma-enjoy. Kabalo mo, kabalo, sultian ta mo, tanan nga gihatag si gino for our enjoyment. And the sad thing, di na ka ma-enjoy. Na stress na ka sa trabaho, na stress na ka sa imong negosyo, na stress na ka. Tanan tanan wa na stress na ka. It's not the will of God. Gusto sa Ginoo enjoy lang ba na si Lord la enjoy ra ko Lord ayo sa kay grabe Lord kay higtig daghan na kay opportunity, daghan kay grabe promotion, daghan kay client sa pay mo Lord. Enjoy kayo. Lord grabe daghan na kay mga mga ni orders Ginoo ala grabe enjoy. Enjoy lang, enjoy lang kapatid. Unahon na nato ang Ginoo. Unahon nato ang Ginoo. Ako basahon ni quote ha. Basahon ako ning Usbon. Si Thomas, I, I, I'm so touched sa iyang, sa iyang powerful quote. Thomas Manton, Labor with God cannot prosper. I mean, with, labor without God cannot prosper. And labor against God will surely fail. We need to keep God in everything you do. Amen? So I pray that this simple message touches your heart. Tingali, naka sa abroad. You've been praying for kining maka-abroad ka. Na naka sa abroad. Na-enjoy na nimo ang blessing ni Lord. But the sad thing. Tingali, madinay nimo ah, Ako'y gahagwa ni. Ako'y ga-exam ni. Or tingali, gi-acknowledge pag gihapon nimo Nga tungod sa kay Gino, nakatrabaho ka. Tungod sa Gino, naka-abroad ka. Pero asa naman, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I'll remind you guys. The blessing of the Lord, He adds no sorrow. The blessing of the Lord for us, my son, to enjoy. And for us, my son, nga maging intimate pag ita. Dili i-allow sa gino, wala i-allow sa gino ang blessing na nasa'y mo nga mawala ka. 
dili na kaubuton sa Ginoo imo nang kaubuton nga nawala ka sa panalangin imo nang kaubuton the will of God is for you to enjoy the blessing and then it's for you to draw closer to God mo na will ni Lord nga sa dihang panalanginan ka the more ka main love sa Ginoo kaubuton na na nimo sa dihang napanalanginan ka sa Ginoo nawala ka sa Ginoo kaubuton na nimo is not the fault of God it's our fault so today let's our hearts be pure let our hearts be you know open and ask God Lord yes Lord surrender na ako tanan wa you dagan I cannot run from you Lord my life will be empty my life will be prostrating if if God is not in my life okay atong i-flash ang verse Psalms 127 diri ko mag end Psalms 127 unless the Lord builds a house. The work of the builders is wasted. Now listen. Unless the Lord protects the city, gawas ang Dios magbantay sa syudad. Ang nagwardya ni ini, may mong way kawang. It is useless for you to work so hard. Tingali, you are working so hard, no? From early morning until late night, frustrating, depressed, empty. Unsa pa, ang mong gibati, anxiously working for food to eat. Mona, mona kasagaran. Kung inana ka na, ako na. But tingon ang pulong say for God gives rest to His loved ones. You know, the blessing of the Lord gives us rest. Give us true rest. Lord, ayusa kay blessing. Hindi na ka magunaw na unsay mga kawan. All you need to do is to do the will of God. To do the laws of God. Enjoy ka. How many times, guys? Kung when, when, I, when we get to heaven, hindi na ako panilingan sa gino. Ang muhingo na gino, pastor or anak, anong wa man mo giwali sa iyong mga sa iyong sa identity, sa iyong mga disciples nga dapat dili sila mag-inani, dili sila mag-inani. At least, muabot ko sa langit. Di na, di, my, my heart is pure. Na di nako panilingan ni Lord. I'm I'm emptying myself. I'm sharing it to each one of you. Nga labor without God will not prosper. Labor against God, saman, will always be in a leads to failure. Inana na siya maigson. Kung mga lagad makas gino, na na enjoy na kas blessing, involve God. Allow God to be the builders. Allow God to be the guardians of your life. The moment you build something, allow God to protect that what you are building. Amen? In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct our path straight. Let us all be standing. life begins when God is in control. Maybe some of you here, you're watching and then, yes, you are, you're enjoying the blessing of God. But the sad thing is, nawala na ka ba? Marabitaw, ang imong kalipay na divert na, nagto na sa gitawag na to, temporary joy compare sa permanent joy na enjoy na ka pero kay balo mo ka ng temporary joy nagya po ng frustration depression anxiety but you know nindot kay I tell you guys yes it's hard man siya ka na mag serve ni Lord it takes discipline sacrifice it takes effort yun no pero enjoy na siya kay kay balo ta listen na we are not of this world. Yes, we are of this world, but we are not of this world. Eventually, maabot ang panahon mo balik si Lord. Padulong ragita sa langit. Tanan tungi kahago at tungi na build dress balay, dress kalibutan. Mawala rana. Temporary raman. 
Mintras nakakaan ng butanga, enjoy ka sa imong negosyo, na enjoy ka sa imong trabaho, enjoy na. Pero ayaw, wala ka ng I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen? So katong mga wapay negosyo, gata, ga, ampo pa mong negosyo, build it with God. Build it with God. Commit it to God. O katong nanay mga negosyo, di ka protect I tell you, your money cannot protect your business. People cannot protect your business. Yes, pwede man. Okay man, pastor, mo business. Along the way, wala gyapon. Kay dili baka akon si Lord. Unless the Lord protects the city, the watchmen will be in vain. Oh, tanan nila gibuhatan, gibantay, kanang gabantay sa sudad, may mong walay kawang, walay pulos, igsoon, ko ang gino dili ma-protect. Amen? So right now, I want you to bow your heads. Allow the Lord to minister to your heart. Maybe God is speaking to you. Nga saan, di ba, nag-ampo ka sa trabaho. I've been giving you a job. I give you this job. I give you this business. I give you this family. Because you, you ask it, you ask that for me. And then I give it to you. Then, where are you na? Where are you? Where are you? Yung nang gino, where are you? Sa time nga, the spirit come, dool kasi gino, kung okay na, wala na po kasi gino. Oh, dili, dili na na. Dapat building and guarding involve God. In building and guarding involve God. Remember, God owns everything. Everything, the world, everything in this world is His. It's God. I want you to make a prayer right now. If you're watching right now, wala, let's respect God. Wala pa tanahuman. Let's respect God. I want you to touch your heart. Put your right hand on your heart. Search your heart. And whatever it is in your heart, nga Lord bitaw, na busy na good ko sa buwan panalangin, na wala nang I will dwell in the house. Muranag, wala na joy sa kuha nga mag-sell. Wala na joy sa kuha nga mag-church, mag-training. Wala na yung tanan. Lord, restore the joy of thy salvation. Dili o gusto, Lord, nga mao ni hinungdan kining business, maka-impirno. Lord, kung ma-impirno mo lang ko, ano yung nabisi ko sa business, ang trabaho, may pawalaan na lang ni Lord. Basta di lang ka mawala sa ko, ah. And the sad thing in this year, in these last days, sa time nga na yung mga problema, ang unang i-give up ang gino. Dapat dili. Huwag mong isuko si Lord. Kailanman hindi ka sinukuan ni Lord. Mga kapatid. Now, I want you to pray. Make a prayer right now. So, I, I will not pray for you. Just just pray for yourself. Just that's, just touch your hand. Your right hand, put that in your, right, in your heart and then make a prayer. Lord, forgive me. That's me, Lord. That's me. You are talking to me. That's me. That's me, Lord. You are talking to me. Lord, tinood kinoo. Kung wala yun ka, Lord, my labor will not prosper. The labor against you, Lord God, will fail. Lord, forgive me. Forgive me, dear God. Forgive me, dear God. Forgive me, dear God. Touch our hearts. Touch our hearts. Touch our hearts. Touch my heart. Holy Spirit, touch my heart. Transform me, Lord. Transform me. Holy Spirit, transform me. Transform me in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord, baguha me, restore the joy of the salvation. Come on, receive the fire, receive the Holy Spirit right now. Now, after this service, you will be renewed, you will be refreshed. You will be restored in Jesus' mighty name. I declare refreshment, restoration, and repaired in Jesus' mighty name, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, I want you, wherever you are, whoever you are, I want you to lift up your hands and begin to sing this song. Your word, Lord, is yours. The world is yours. Everything in it, Lord, is yours, Lord. Come on, declare it. Open your mouth and begin to worship God. Begin to worship God right now. Oh, Jesus, come on, come on, sing it. Oh, this world is yours. My God is 
right now I want you to listen carefully sometimes opportunity is not is not uh, not opportunity not all the opportunity Mason is the will of God I tell you sometimes this opportunity will be used sometimes by the enemy to distract you to pull you down you know to distract you nga di na dwell sa house ni Lord yes you enjoy the opportunity nindot ang mga benefits but you know what Satan is wise Satan is wise. The Bible says he is a roaring lion, seeking whom he devour. He is like a roaring lion. I mean, and gusto niya ipaon na mga baits, mga ikson kana mga baits. Gusto niya na ipa front line para sa diyang magimuha na nasya. Yaya kung dili ka wise enough, if you are, we are not sensitive enough, then you will be cut off from the promised land. You will be cut off from the house of God. Then that's the time you enjoy for a moment. And now, our prodigal son, he, he disconnected. He was disconnected. No, he chose to be connected, to be disconnected. Say, ang sa palas. And what happened? Na enjoy niya for how many years? And then sa diyang na ingon sa albati anas ang kinabuhi ay empty na. And then ibalik sa he decided to return to his father. Maybe you are like a prodigal son right now. No, tingali you enjoy, you enjoy, pero na empty na ka. I want you, you decide. Ingon ang prodigal son, I will go to my father and ask, Father in heaven, forgive me. And my father, ningun siya, nag-confess sa, sa langit, nag-confess po sa sayang amahan. Right now, if you are that person, I want you to make a prayer. Okay? As the song will keep on playing, uh, let's, dilita magdali karon. Dilita magdali. I know God is speaking to you. I know the Spirit of God is speaking to you right now. As this, the, the, the song is, is keep on playing, I want you to make a prayer. Lord, ako na ginoo. Please, Lord, help me. Lord, mo balik na ako kanimo ginoo. Balik na ako, Lord. Give me wisdom to, to, to really discern ginoo sa mga opportunities ginoo nga nakasakwa karon. Nga dili ko mawala ginoo. I tell you, if you have a job, if you have a business, pero nawala kas the Lord, it's not the will of God. That's not the will of God. You know that. You know that already. It's not the will of God. Dili ka ubuton sa gino. Nga nakay trabaho, sakto, nakay negosyo, sakto, nakay pamilya, ikson, nakay nindot nga imong gina-embrace karon, pero nawala kas gino. It's not the will of God. Amen. I tell you, my ikson. Come on, just, just, just keep on playing. Keep on playing. Hallelujah. The Spirit will touch your heart right now in Jesus' mighty name. Keep on playing. Come on, musician. Keep on playing. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Touch their hearts. Touch their hearts. Touch their hearts. Touch their hearts. Touch their hearts, Lord. Okay, 
kini gi remind ko sa tingali you have you built a relationship na kay relasyon bago lang ka nakarelasyon bago lang ka nakauyab let's say tingali may ikson ka na siya nga relasyon will ba na ni Lord ang will ni Lord is both of you will be on fire for God but if that relationship you have right now nga nawala na kas gino nawala ng I will dwell in the house of the Lord I want you to pray it's better ingon na gino fear me ingon na gino fear me mas kadloki ko ayaw kadlok nga mawala ng butang sa imuha mawala ng person sa imuha kadloki nga mawala si Lord sa imuha okay kulang matag oras may ikson but I will end na lang karon. if you are that person and maybe you are new to us right now Wingon ka gino pastor gusto na ako ang gino nga mauna sa akong kinabuhi. The backslide na ko pastor, dugay na ko na backslide pero I want to go back home. If you are that person, I want to lead you this short prayer. Pagampo mo makaigsonan ani nga ampo, pagampo nga nga submission. Bali ako'y manalabtan, musunod lang ka sa pagampo, okay? So whoever you are, wherever you are, moingon ka, mudungo ka sa imong ulo, dai moingon ka Lord Jesus. Salamat Ginoo. Nga imo kong girimind Ginoo nga ang tanan kanako gikan kanimo o Dios kay balo ko Lord nga nagampo ko ani nga butang faithful ka ga Ginoo nga imong gihatag kanako ug na enjoy ko Ginoo but ang sad Ginoo nawala na ko kanimo usa karon Ginoo thank you for speaking to me for reminding me today Lord I humble myself to you. Forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. Sa akong una-una, sa akong pulong, sa akong binuhatan. And open, i-open ako ang heart. Pasudlon ka na ako sa tibok na akong kinabuhi. Pagsugod ka ron. Ikaw na akong ginoo. Sugod ka ron. Ikaw na akong alagaharan. Sugod ka ron. Ikaw ako mahan. Sugod ka ron, Lord. At timanon na ako akong relasyon kanimo. Sugod ka ron, Lord. Ikaw na akong pilion. Kini ang pagampo sa ngalan ni Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Atong pakpakan ni Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Let's sing again. Let's sing. Oh, this world is yours. Paganda mo sa iyong communion, my son. Before we go home, we will have partake our communion. Okay, magdali-dali lang ta kay 12 o'clock na ron. So, kabalo ko nga, gigutom na ta, my son. But we are honoring the Lord, still honoring the Lord. Kay Kinesha, pilara ni my son, this is for eternity. Amen. Atong isa, atong bread. Kung nalamoy bread sa inyong balay, isa inyong bread. 
This bread symbolizes the body of Jesus and this is for our wholeness and perfect health. Okay, let's all declare the four powerful declaration of the bread. One, two, three, go. By His stripes, I am healthy. By His stripes, I cannot be sick. By His stripes, I will not die. By His stripes, I will have long and satisfying life. Amen. Kaya is a kopa, nagsimbolo sa dugo ni Jesus. This is for our total freedom and total forgiveness. So let's all declare the five powerful declaration of the blood. One, two, three, go. By His blood, I am redeemed. By His blood, I am justified. By His blood, I am sanctified. By His blood, I am forgiven. And by His blood, I am victorious. Amen. Praise God. Magampo ko sa inyo ha. May the Lord bless you. May His face shine upon you. May the Lord's goodness and mercy will overtake. And we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen and amen. Oh, my God.